Uh, we're going to continue talking about bronsted lowry acid and bases, and I'm going to give you a couple of reactions on that. Say that we have hydrochloric acid, and here I'm going to draw bonds in long pairs explicitly, as you would do in your Lewis structure. And I'm going to make the reaction of that in water. And again, I'm keeping my long pairs. And here I'm going to draw this is my arrow of the reaction, and we are forming this the species. So we're going to talk about flow of electrons. And again, reviewing the concepts of um, conjugates, pairs of conjugate. So here's what we have. Now, this is the acid we have identified. This is hydrochloric acid. But we know this is the acid because this is, remember, a polar bond. That will be my electron uh, deficient place. This is delta positive. This is delta negative. Here, this is electron rich. So right here, we're going to label this species. So this is my acid. This is the base. And next, what we're going to do it showed the movement of electrons. We said that our rows here, similar to what we did in resonance, we're moving electrons. So here we want to show the flow of electrons. And electrons are going to go, say, from the reach, electron reach species to the electron pore. So now my arrow is going to be from this spot to the product here. So electron reach to electron pore. See the delta positive. In doing that, water is going to become hydronium. So right here, the base, remember the definition of bronsted lorry It is a proton acceptor. And here we see that it took the proton. It's over here. And this is hydronium ion. And remember our formal charges here. Now we don't have, we only have one pair um, of electrons here. This, now the acid had donated a proton, so the base took it, right? We have the flow of electrons. And now in doing so, it donated a proton, so concept, bronsted lorry So the acid is a proton donor. And now donating the proton, now it became this anion, and this is the conjugate base. And hydronium here is the conjugate acid. So we have pairs. Now we're going to write the pair conjugates. Say hydrochloric acid is the acid. Its conjugate base is um, chloride. So that is a pair conjugate. Notice the difference is one proton. Now I have another pair conjugate. If I keep the same um, writing always the acid first and then the base, I'm going to write then the acid, conjugate acid here, and I'm going to say hydronium as my acid in the water conjugate base. So that's a pair of conjugates. Again, notice the difference here is one proton. Uh, the acid has one more proton than um, the base. Same thing here. And that is important to notice because there are some species that has more than one acidic product. That's the case, for example, of phosphoric acid. When phosphoric acid dissociates in water, so a reaction is similar to that, it will produce dihydrogen phosphate. Notice the difference here is one product. So that's the acid conjugate base. But still, the hydrogen phosphate can ionize and give another product. And so here I have dihydrogen phosphate ionizing into hydrogen phosphate, negative two. Now this two are related as conjugates. Here we have one more hydrogen, see, one more product back here. But now you cannot say that uh, phosphoric acid, the hydrogen phosphate, is the conjugate base. It's not. There is two products difference. So it is important. And we can yet uh, write another pair of conjugate. If you do hydrogen phosphate, negative 2, the conjugate base is phosphate, 3 negative here. So notice all of that. But conceptually then is acid is a proton donor. Base is a proton acceptor. That is electron rich. Here the proton is the electron deficient species. In doing this process, 
The acid became a conjugate. Uh, the acid became a conjugate base. Here's my pair, acid conjugate base. And this, the water accepting the product, that's the conjugate base, has became the conjugate acid, and that's my pair of conjugates, acid base. We're going to continue talking more and doing more reactions of acid base in another video.